it's not quite an apology, but the Clinton Foundation is explaining itself and admitting it's the great Washington term, mistakes were made. There's a big controversy at the moment about Bill Clinton uh, raising money from these business guys who got a good deal with the Russians and, and uranium sales, uh, taking big money from a Kremlin-linked bank at a time the Russians were trying to get approval from the State Department for something. Uh, the Clinton Foundation this morning, not directly getting into that, the details, but saying, yes, we made mistakes, as many organizations of our size do, but we're acting quickly to remedy them and have taken steps to ensure they don't happen in the future. We're committed to operating the foundation responsibly and effectively to continue the life-changing work that the, this philanthropy is doing every day. How big of a problem is this for the Hillary Clinton presidential campaign that as people now scrub the foundation dealings, they find some stuff that at least, at least without a doubt, has a clear perception problem. And that's exactly what it is. It, uh, Peter Schweitzer, who wrote, who wrote Clinton Cash, which is coming out soon, said this weekend, there's nothing illegal here, but it's the appearance of impropriety that's going to keep dogging them. And you have to ask the question, why weren't the books looked at before she declared she was running for president? Because this was all... She knew she was running for two years, you know? And you wonder why that wasn't done. Right, and you, and you wonder why some of the actions, were, some of the things were done, because they go after, Mr. Schweitzer is a conservative. He has worked at a think tank, and so Democrats have every right to say, be skeptical and scrub his work because of his political history. However, it is a fact, Bill Clinton took $500,000 from a bank as a speaking fee at a time that bank was involved in this deal and that the Russian uranium deal was on the table. It is a fact he introduced these businessmen to the Kazakh government, which was part of this deal. So just saying, you know, this was unearthed by a Republican or a conservative isn't good enough. No, it's not. And, and while you're right that everyone should be skeptical, we, I mean, the news media should be digging into these things, not just uncritically reporting them. But it's one of the easiest stories to tell. It's company or country A wanted this outcome. Company or country A gave a fortune to the Clinton Foundation, and the outcome that company or country A wanted occurred. There are no smoking guns, at least that I've seen uh, in what little I've seen of the book, but it's a pretty tough narrative to push back against. The, the Clinton campaign is out there saying this is bogus. She wasn't the only decision maker in, in these processes, certainly not the most important in a lot of cases, but it's, it's a really hard story to push back against.